Next question is from Malibu Banks. What causes some people to lose weight when reverse dieting after hitting a plateau? Mm. I love this because, you know, I sometimes I'll get pushback from some of the stuff that we say on the podcast when we'll say things like, you know, uh, lifting weights boosts your metabolism or reverse dieting plus lifting weights is a great way to boost the metabolism. Well, this question is an example of how we haven't quite figured this all the way out. We have this, this phenomenon happens. Always, and, and a lot. And, and we'll get, they'll, they'll send studies and be like, look, this study showed that gaining muscle only really increased the metabolism by 20 calories or whatever. And it's, this is all bullshit. Okay, so uh, we've witnessed this many times with many, many of the clients that we've worked with, with ourselves. It's a real phenomena, and when you increase or decrease calories, yes, your body can pare muscle down, it could store body fat to, to store extra calories, but it can also become more or less efficient with calories, okay? And we don't quite know how this works, but the body can literally take 10 calories and become more efficient with it or become less efficient with it, Where and the less efficient may look like some of those calories are just turned into heat. They're just turned into extra heat in the body or extra energy or whatever. So this phenomenon is hard to explain, but it for sure happens. I've seen this with my own eyes. I've seen people who've been on a calorie deficit for so long. Their metabolism is, is really adapted to, to few calories. They're overtraining like crazy. I'll reduce their exercise so they're burning less calories, and I'll bump their calories, and then they get leaner, yeah. lo and behold. Mm -hmm. Now, it could be... They built some muscle, which then burnt more calories. But I don't think that fully explains it. I think there's other stuff that's going on. And I've seen it, again, with my own eyes. Yeah, no, this is one of those ones that I don't know how to even explain it to somebody. I just know that it works. I know that this is what we're looking for. Like, that's when I know things are going really well is when I can add calories to somebody's diet and they actually lose weight. And it does. It breaks all the rules that we're aware of and mm -hmm. that we've been told forever. But this is the benefit of, of weight. And this, this only happens, by the way, when you have somebody who is weight training in conjunction with what their what their diet is. I'd never see this with somebody who's doing cardio. Mm -hmm. If you're doing cardio only and you're also trying to reverse diet, I don't see the same thing happening. But somebody who is lifting weights, and a lot of times my simple theory of explaining is that your body needed those calories. It mm -hmm. wanted that. We were running lower without it, and your body was waiting for us to give it those calories, and now it's running more efficiently. I mean, I feel like it's when you tune up your car. Like it, You can get a car that's at the same engine, same everything, but by tuning it up, also and it gets faster. You well, know? well, look at you. Look at some of the the studies, observational studies on like POWs, like prisoners of war who've been kept uh, in in you know they've been kept captive for years and years mm. and years, and fed very very little. And yes, they come out lost lots of muscle, very emaciated, but still they are surviving off an, an amount of calories that usually doesn't make any sense. Like yeah. how like it doesn't make any sense that a grown man, even if he lost muscle, did all stuff is surviving off of you know, 400 calories a day. How is this possible? The body can really become efficient or not mm -hmm. efficient with calories. It's got a remarkable ability to do this. Yeah, it's interesting. I know this is probably a ter terrible example, but um, when I was going through carnivore diet, I was – uh, anticipating like because I was eating such big volumes of meat that you know that was going to produce like a, a lot more waste and it was actually the opposite uh, you know the the waste of the poops were a lot smaller than you know previous to that so mm -hmm. I don't know if it, you know it, it was utilizing you know more of of the nutrients uh, or, you know or not I think I, yeah, so you're like the the leader of North Korea he doesn't poop because <laughs> he works so hard he absorbs all Just the little food. pellets you know, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I think that might have to do more with the fiber um, uh, in, in vegetables and stuff like that. But it, it, I mean, I'm telling you, there are certain things. I think we'll be able to explain this uh, at some point. But until now, you can show me all the studies you want that show that, oh, you know, building muscle doesn't really speed up the metabolism that much or whatever. I have taken women who were eating 1,100 calories a day, doing cardio every single day, doing all kinds of stuff. And I've gotten them to get their calories up to 2,200 calories a day not doing almost any cardio except for maybe some walks, and lifting weights and twice a week. it doesn't line up with any of what the studies It say. doesn't line up with any of it, but legit, and they're leaner, and they've got muscle, yeah. and, the, and, the, and it's not like they gained 30 pounds of muscle to make up the difference. We're talking about you know eight pounds of muscle on somebody. This is a woman we're talking about. I've seen this happen many, many times. So uh, it's a for sure real thing. And again, you, you see people who lift weights consistently, do it properly consistently. Look how much they can eat with the little amount of activity they do compared to somebody who is doing tons and tons of activity, constantly reducing their calories. Look at the difference.